Now that we have some dummy data in our database, let's go ahead and see how to retrieve this data in our controllers. Okay, so remember, we've learned the views which are in our resources views directory right here. And we've learned the routes which are going to receive the request from our clients. And we've learned the controllers which are in our app HTTP controllers directory. So here's the basic workflow. We have a view right here and the user who is on that page is going to make a request maybe to view a page or maybe to store or to do or whatever request is making our router is going to pick up that request which is right here in our web.php it will pick up that request understand the request and then it would direct to a particular controller okay so for example maybe the user created a new to do and he wants to save it into the database what he's gonna do he's gonna send a post request our writer is gonna pick up that post request send it to the adequate controller which is our to do's controller and right here we're gonna use a particular method on our controller to save it into our database and then we would return a response to our user so first thing let's take care of the read so how do we read data from our database first of all the user needs to request to see the data okay so we'll go ahead and create a page and i'll call this to do's.blade.php right there okay so right here i'll just copy every information in my welcome page and i'll paste it right here and i'm going to call this to do's right there and i'll remove all of this dummy data right here and right here what i want is to display the to do's that the user has in the database okay so i have a view so when the user requests a particular route i will need to display this view with a list of all the to do's so let's go ahead to our router we we'll define a particular route that the user needs to visit to be able to see his to do's so right here i'll say when the user visits the to do's route take him to the to do's controller and take him to the index method on that controller okay so visit the to do's route use the to do's controller and the index method so it looks like in our to do's controller we need to create the index method okay so right there we're gonna create a public function and it will be index okay so everything that we do right now right here is gonna be done as soon as the user visits the to do's route okay so let's head over to our controller and let's just return the view that we just created okay so return the to do's view so to do's.blade.php is going to be returned okay so let's just see that work let's go over to our browser and right here we're going to receive the to do's route and right there we have our to do's okay so it means we are able to connect our router right here to our controller and return the view but now we don't want to just return this we want to return this with our to do's so that we'll be able to display them okay so right here i'll just use the app slash to do class so i'm using this class so i'll be able to use the to do class so our to do remember that php interacts with our database so we are going to use that to do to interact with our database so i'll create a variable and i'll say to do's and this to do's variable is going to use the to do class and it will call a static method on that class called all and that's exactly all we have to do we don't need to make some crazy queries to our database we just need to call that method right there so we're calling all method and this method is simply going to get all the to do's in our database now that we had all the to do's in our database and we have stored it in our to do's variable let's go ahead and pass this data to our view so we'll call a with method and this with method is going to take first of all the name of the variable that we want to use to assess this data in our view so i'll call that to do's and the next is the data that we want to pass in so i'll say to do's right here so this is the data we are passing in and in our view this is the variable that we are going to use to access the data okay so we are returning the view with some data so right now we have access to that data now let's head over back to our view so we need to actually view this data that we passed in from our controller how do we do that now lavo provides us a very simple blade templating engine for us to be able to cleanly display data in our views okay so normally in php we'll have to open and close php tags and for each right here and we'll say to do's which is 
the variable that we passed right here so to those right here so if i call this maybe task right here i'll need to write task okay so i have this variable available because it's passed from my controller okay so normally in php we'll just write to do's as to do right here and we close our php tags and we'll go ahead and open php tags again so php and then we'll say and for each okay and so for each of them and then we'll say echo the to do okay and we since we have an object we'll would say echo to do to do okay and remember we are receiving this object from our database and if we check out our migration we have a to do field from our database so we can access that as an object okay so we can echo that right there so normally this is how we are going to do it so now if i go ahead to my to do page and i refresh there we have a list of to do's right there okay so it has fetched that data and for each of those to do instances it's displaying the to do okay so now this is not how we're going to be displaying it because laravel provides a very very easy syntax for us to use okay so right here i will just say add for each to do's as to do and right here i'll just say end for each okay and this is laravel's blade templating engine okay so for for each loop we have at for each and we end it right here and how do we echo okay so right here we'll just open the mustache syntax so opening braces twice closing braces twice and we'll just input the data that we want to echo so we want to echo the to do to do right there okay and after that we might probably want a break tag so this looks cleaner and if we go back to our browser and refresh right there we have exactly the same thing okay but there with some break tags so for readability purposes i'm going to reduce the size of the title so the title i will reduce the size to 44 pixels and if i refresh okay so that looks better so we see we're receiving the to do's from the database and for each of those we are displaying the to do and we are putting a break tag okay we can go ahead and ins insert a horizontal line so that we see better and still reduce the fonts because it still looks bigger and i'll just say 24. okay so there we have it okay that's our data from the database and there are seven of them so now we are able to communicate with our database using eloquent and eloquent is simply the modeling system for lava so it's our orm that's interacting with our database so now we've seen our view we've seen our model and we've seen our controller so our model has methods that are defined on them that interact with our database for example the first method we saw is the all method and this all method gets all the database records for this table now we learned about the with method which actually passes data to our view so we collected some data from our table and we saved it in a variable and we passed in that data to our view using the with method okay so our user visits the slash to do's route our router picks up that request and he connects it to our to do's controller and the index method and in our to do's controller we fetch all the database records and we pass in that data to our view and in our view we use blade templating engine syntax to display all the to do's so for each of those to do's just echo out the to do to do and draw a horizontal line 